A heavy metal sphere of mass 0 0.81 kilogram is suspended from a string. Sphere is undergoing small oscillations from side to side. Hmm, familiar question. The oscillation of the sphere may be considered to be simple harmonic with amplitude and period. Wow, nice lah. They give us the important constant straight at the beginning of the question. Chef case looks easy. Okay, state what is meant by simple harmonic motion. A is proportional to negative x. So you got to write that down in the sentence. Acceleration of the sphere. I try to write down something that is related to the question, although it's not necessary. Okay. Is directly proportional to its displacement. And the second point is this acceleration negative, right? Is always opposite direction to displacement. So the examiner report has grumbled about student writing symbols when writing their scientific, whether scientific explanation or stating their scientific definition. Do not use symbols unless they are already defined in the question. So now we are practicing as if you're going to answer paper. I will not write symbols in my answer anymore. All right, calculate the angular frequency of the oscillation. Calculation is fine, okay? But when you write explanation or definition, don't use symbol. So angular frequency is omega. Omega is 2 pi over t. t is 3. Do not write fraction. No? Radian per second. You want to write more SF also can, but I see everything here too SF. I follow, no? follow question 2.1 radian per second. Okay, very nice. Wow, got four marks already. Okay, carry on. Total energy of oscillation, easy clap. Because I can say that the total energy is also equal to the maximum kinetic energy. And the maximum kinetic energy is half M maximum velocity squared. So this will be half m bracket a omega square. So here's how I memorize. Maximum displacement is a. Differentiate, right? So maximum velocity, when you differentiate sine omega t, the omega gets kicked out. A omega. Maximum acceleration, differentiate again, we kick out another omega, omega square. And then if I want to find the maximum ke, or the total energy, it will be half m. I square this a square omega square. Okay, do I have the mass of the sphere? Mm, here, 0 0.81 kg. I also have a 0 0.06, and I've just calculated omega 2.1. Okay, so 0 0.81, uh, 0. 0, 0.036 square. Omega was 2.1 square. You step your calculator, you will get 2.3 times 10 to the power negative 3. All right. Correct equation, one mark. Substitution seen leading to final answer, one mark. This one, equation one mark. Substitution leading to final answer. Yeah, they're all very doable. Simple harmonic motion is easy one, unless they decide to throw a wrench into your situation. Okay, part C. Suspended, the suspended sphere is now lowered into water. The sphere is given a sideways displacement of the same from the equilibrium position and then released at t equal to zero. So at t equal to zero, my displacement is 0 0.036 meter. Okay, they give me the initial condition. Water causes the motion of the sphere to be critically damped. Nani, they can ask us to draw anything besides light damping. Yes, so it's a good time to revise the types of damping. Because it's in the syllabus. Anyway, although not popular in past year. Sketch how the displacement will change from 0 
to six seconds. Okay, before I commit to drawing on this beautiful graph grid, let me doodle a bit the types of damping for you first. Okay. Obviously, you can find this in your notes. La. Or maybe instead of doodling, I'm just going to yoink from the notes to save some time. Wow, I miss the notes load so fast like, compared to MCKL laptop. Of course, la. that's why I stay at home today. <laughs> That's why in class, I see and so I just draw only because waiting for it to load, right, will take forever. But, but I'm at home now, so all good, guys, all good. Okay, where was I? External papers. See, this one cannot praise one. Praise one time, then doesn't work anymore. This is just sad. Okay, can't read it. Uh. All right, we're going to stare at this for a bit. Here are the types of damping. Okay. Oftentimes in past year question, we have the light damping, also the red color one. There's a gradual reduction. We can calculate the amplitude and calculate how many percent the energy change after every cycle. Very common past year question. Okay. What is uncommon is for critical damping and over damping. Okay. So critical damping means I take away so much energy from the system. The system wants to go back to equilibrium position as soon as possible. Like that. Okay. Doesn't even have time to oscillate. Over damping is I don't even have energy to return to equilibrium position. So it returns to equilibrium position very slowly. Okay, I'll give you an example. The red color graph is a graph of a good student, you know, uh, go to school, come back, rest, have a very nice predictable cycle. Maybe over time, a few bit tired, but all good. The orange color student is go back, come back from school, immediately want to return to bed as soon as possible, equilibrium position. And the blue color student is don't even have energy to go back to bed. So it will take a long time, last sleep on the floor, sleep on the couch, and eventually get to bed, hopefully. Okay. So over is more damp than critical. Yeah, I'll write this down here. The damping order would be light damping to critical damping to over damping. So you want to return to equilibrium position as soon as possible. First, let's start with 0 0.036. Mm, 3 is here. 2, 4, 6 here. 8, 10. Yeah. So I will plot this point, 0 0.036. Okay. So it's going to decrease. What's my period? Do I have a, do I even have a period? Period is three seconds. So period is somewhere here. So it's going to go down to the equilibrium position around or slightly before T. Can you just draw this orange graph? So just like that. Mm -hmm. Hang on. Miss, what's an example of over damping? Well, you scare me, my curve changed now. Um, over damping would be your spring in your bed. It takes a long time to go back to the original size. Um, the door stopper. Okay. I think I show your class before one. Ah, this one, this thing, this thing here. This one. I don't want to attend to this. There, this one. Uh. So when you open the door, you don't want it to go back to zero as soon as possible, right? That will slam the door closed. That's not the point. You open the door, you want it to slowly close the door. Okay, ma. I don't know. These are all over damping. Okay, anyway, 
as I was saying, we want to sketch the curve. Decreasing gradient so that somewhere here it will drop to zero. This question will you throw eh? like that three marks. Okay, here are the marks. <clears throat> Because they never asked before. So I was like, oh, they asked finally. Plot twist. So the line starting from here, okay, not reaching anymore, it will not oscillate. Okay, there's a smooth curve, there's no sudden changes in gradient, showing a continuously decreasing magnitude from the maximum value to zero. Displacement reaches final value of zero between 0 0.75 and 3 seconds. So even before it got time to reach, the period right it will immediately it will basically it will take a faster time than the period because it wants to return to equilibrium position as soon as possible yeah this long then after that you just draw flat line just dies but the gradient is should be zero right? no sudden changes in gradient that's in this like that la. okay la. then you just bye bye flat line you're drawing this graph most of the time, they'll ask you to draw the red one. So if they ask you to draw critical damping, maybe they'll ask you to draw over damping, where your t-axis is an asymptote. So if I want to draw over damping, I'll draw like this. Oh. This is over. This is critical. And I don't think I need to draw light damping. Three marks. Very nice. 